What's up, guys? How is Hero Toy Reviews doing another action figure review, this time on Marvel Legends, I believe, Annihilus Wave, Planet Hulk. Um, <laughs> this is a massive figure. Um, you can see I can barely get him to fit on camera where you can see his whole body. Um, man, I love this figure. I, I was going to show the on packaging but i didn't bother to i was so excited to get him um yeah i love the hulk i'm a big hulk fan um i recently started reading planet hulk um in case you guys didn't know there was an animated movie that was made in 2010 by Lionsgate, and um i a friend of mine gave me that like 10 years ago i think when it when it was out um so yeah, so I, I kind of saw that movie at a young age, um, and when I was younger, I didn't care for it because, you know, my um, version, my interpretation of the Hulk was like he was kind of an anti-hero, so um, for those of you who may not be aware, uh, Planet Hulk was basically the Illuminati who are a specific group of like the smartest like superhero characters on the planet had gotten fearful of Hulk because of his rage and how powerful he was. They got fearful of him and finally kind of had enough. And they sent him off world. They sent him, well, their, their, what was their intention was to send him to a planet that didn't have any like life. So he would just be all by himself. You know how Hulk, the Hulk would always say he, he just wants to be left alone. So that was their intention. Um, of course he was, PO'd about that. <laughs> um, and in his, you know, anger, he accidentally caused the ship to go off course and he landed on a planet or he was the, the ship went through like a wormhole and he landed on the planet Sakaar, where he basically became a slave and he had to fight in this gladiator tournament. A lot of people say it's similar to Spartacus. Um, I'm familiar with Spartacus, but I never read or watched it. So I don't know all that happened. But basically, there's an evil ruler, Hulk overthrows the ruler, becomes ruler of the planet, and king of the planet, and yeah, he's kind of finally at peace to a, to a degree, but then there was a follow-up story where, um, it's a lot, it's a lot, but there was a follow-up story where his wife, yeah, Hulk had a wife, um, and his people, or the people of the planet were killed, and, um, I won't give I won't give the reason for those who are interested. I won't give the reason how they got killed, but they were killed, and Hulk, of course, was PO'd again, and he found a way to get back to Earth to get revenge. So, yeah, um, pretty interesting Hulk story. But uh, yeah, this figure, um, this mold is a Toy Biz mold. Toy Biz mold, um, of course, Hasbro in the early days of the Hasbro Marvel Legends, they reused a lot of uh, Toy Biz molds. Hulk is one of those reused molds. Um, I didn't realize how big he would be. I mean, he's a very big, chunky figure, as you would expect from the Hulk. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, the shading on him and just I, I, is really good. I really like the green color on him. I like that he's wearing brown pants, to his traditional um, purple. I know some people kind of have a gripe with that in regards to this figure, but, you know, you easily could just paint the pants purple if you really wanted to. Um, he has a scratch there um, near his buttocks. <laughs> um, what what else could I say? Um, I like that he comes with these pieces, which are removable, the shield um, and the shoulder piece and this helmet, which are all nicely te all nicely detailed. I like the bronze color that they all have, um, the brown, the dark brown, bronze kind of color. Um, a lot of people, which I'll show how he looks without it, a lot of people don't care for the head on this figure. Me, personally, I love the head. Um, the head was one of the biggest reasons why this has been like a must-get for me for a couple of years. Um, I think this figure, this mold is, I know this mold is older, but I think this figure came out in um, 2006 or 2007. I think I mentioned this was part of the Annihilus wave. Annihilus being a enemy to the Fantastic Four. 
a leader or king of the negative zone. Um, that's a really good builder figure. I actually want to get that as well at some point. But because this guy is fairly inexpensive, I just kind of put him off. Um, like he's been on the back burner of all the other action figures and characters I'd like to get at some point. Um, but I finally kind of cave and just like, you know what? F it. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and get this guy. I've wanted him forever. Um, I really wanted to get him new. Um, but the only listing I saw was fairly pricey. So I ended up getting this guy for 50 bucks, loose free shipping. And that was a good deal. My only issue, which I wasn't aware of, um, in the, I didn't see it in the pictures is that he has like a little scratch on his knee right here. I don't think it's coming on that well. Um, so I might see if I can find something to kind of color that color that out. Um, but really, that's the only thing, only little nitpick I have. Um, detail on him is nice. You can see his uh, veins and his muscles. And the there's detail on his nails. Like his nails, um, his toenails and fingernails look unkept, which I think is appropriate. Um, yeah, um, there are a lot of other Hulks I wouldn't mind getting, but this one has always been my number one. I just love the aesthetic of this one the most. Um it's not like how he has these weapons, which are removable. So you could just have him be a regular Hulk. But uh, yeah, so here is the helmet. Uh, very nicely detailed. Um, yeah, it's cool. Um, this is accurate. The shield, um, helmet, and shoulder piece are accurate to the artwork from the book. Um, I'm almost done reading Planet Hulk, even though I know what happens. I, I wanted to read it and yeah, it's been good. It's been a fun read. Um, yeah. So like I said, the shield is nice. Like I said, detail, everything is nice for this to have come out in 2007, six, this figure still holds up. This is, this is just a solid Hulk figure. Um, and lastly, we'll show his shoulder armor. I believe you can wear this either way, which is cool. Um, and yeah, it's nice. Um, I guess it would have been cool if they gave him like a sword or something, because he did fight with weapons in, play, in the in the book. So that's not that big of a deal. I dig him. There is a variant where this arm is silver, um, like kind of like he wore like a like a like an armor on his arm in the book and in the movie. Um, but they kind of went the lazy route. Unfortunately, they just kind of painted this like a kind of like a metallic kind of gray instead of um, in the comic. It had ridges like uh, Colossus from X-Men, for example, like how he looks. That's how the armor on Hulk's um, arm looked. But uh, it's worth getting if, you know, if you're interested. Um, and yeah, you can see here he is. Um, like I said, mine is... Like I said, fairly good condition. He's not really loose. I guess I maybe would say this joint, which helps his upper body move back and forth, maybe is a little loose, but it's not bothersome. Um, his head can go, you can see his head can go all the way up like that, all the way down like that. No 360. Um, <laughs> I'll talk about his face and his head in a minute. Um, like I said, wrist rotation. Um, both of these finger is, uh, index fingers are articulated. His thumbs are articulated. Like I said, the last three fingers are articulated. Um, yeah, he's just solid. Um, like toe joint, ankle pivot. his feet can go back and forth a little bit. Um, of course, knee, um, oh, knee articulation, uh, Let's see and the ball jointed uh, so uh, leg sockets, whatever you want to call them. Of course, his waist can go 360 degrees. Um, yeah, so let's see if I can show his face real quick. Um, I don't think it's gonna come in that well. So, his face, um, a lot of people don't like this head. I do, I think the head is based off one piece of, of artwork from the story because his head doesn't look like this in the story. Um, so I think that's where they got the idea of, of the head from. Um, 
But I like it. The head, the head and the accessories is what made this Hulk really appeal to me. Um, you know, when I first got introduced, you know, seeing like a review or seeing images of it, um, you can't really see. I, I do actually kind of like this effect. So when you look at the figure, as you can see, because of his brow, you can't really see his eyes. And I actually kind of like that about the figure. He, he kind of hides his eyes. Um, the one thing I don't hear people ever talk about when I've seen reviews, I don't, I don't think I can, I don't think I'll be able to show it. Yeah, you know, I don't think it'll come in that well. Okay, it's coming in well a little bit. <laughs> it's coming in well a little bit. Um, his eyes look a little goofy. Let's see. There's, a, there's another eye. I don't know how well you guys can see it. There's another eye um, right there. The eyes look a little goofy. Um, this eye looks a little bit better than that eye, which is a little, little uh, disappointing, but it's not that bothersome. And like I said, um, you really don't see his eyes unless you angle you um, angle him a certain way. But it looks like Hulk, and I, I just like his his frowny face. And yeah, um, yeah. A lot of people felt like there's not enough hair on his head. I'm not bothered by it. <laughs> I'm not bothered by the the hair at all. Like I said, the, the face and the head of this figure is really what you know grab my attention as far as wanting this Hulk. Um, where was I? Cause I'm going to show some size comparisons real quick. Um, but yeah, like I, I grew up with the 2003 movie. I know a lot of fans are kind of biased on that one. Um, I liked the 2003 movie. I, one of my childhood memories was I uh, used to play the game boy game, which I started playing again on emulator um, based off that movie, which I remember being, really fun to play. Um, I also uh, played the DS version of the 2008 Hulk movie, which was a lot of fun. Um, Yeah, (laughs) I've watched walkthroughs for some of the console games that I would still like to play one day. Um, But yeah, I, for the most part, um, I've seen the uh, Lou Ferrigno Incredible Hulk show, the old uh, 70s Hulk show, and I really liked it. Um, but yeah, I just I just love the Hulk. Hulk has been one of my you know characters I grew up with, like Spider Man, Batman, Superman, Fantastic Four. Um, so you know, so to not have a figure, a definitive action figure of him in my collection, um, yeah, <laughs> I finally finally got the one I wanted the most. Um, but yeah, so that you guys get an insight of my history with the Hulk. Uh, let's see. I'll do some size comparisons with characters affiliated with the Hulk. Um, this figure I told, I kind of forgot I even had her cause I don't, I don't have this wave of figures on display. Um, let's see here. He is next to she Hulk. I can get her. Okay. There we go. I believe that is the gray she Hulk. I believe I'm not sure. Um, Hasbro made a re-release of her with, um, traditional green skin and an alternate head. Um, I'd like to get that at some point, but, um, yeah, uh, this is my, I believe gray she Hulk and they look good together. You know, they're their cousins. So, um, I can have them displayed together. Um, but yeah, she's a nice, she's a nice size. Oh, Oh, she fell over. <laughs> um, yeah, she's a, <laughs> she's a nice size. Um, so there you go. She Hulk. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh man. (laughs) Oh, that happened by accident. Everybody pretend that didn't happen. I might see if I can cut that out. (laughs) I knocked the camera over. Um, here we have him next to his rival in front of me, Wolverine. Um, they look great together. Um, I might take some pictures with the two of them. Um, Oh, so yeah, nice size, nice, nice size together. Um, third, we have another one of his rivals. Um, I have three things and I had no Hulks. <laughs> I have three Marvel legend thing action figures. Um, so here he is with, um, Ben and, uh, yeah, I think they're a good size. Um, I don't know. 
I don't, I don't, I didn't bother to pull out my Toy Biz thing, so I don't know how well him and this Hulk would scale together since um, this mold and the Toy Biz thing are Toy Biz molds. Um, but he looks nice next to this uh, Hasbro fan, uh, Fantastic Four thing. Um, they look good together. Um, and lastly, just for craps and giggles, we have him next to Shanks from One Piece. Since Shanks is kind of a lanky character, I just wanted to see how they would look together. So if you wanted to have him with anime characters for whatever reason, there you go. Um, so yeah, <laughs> this is going on 15 minutes, so I'm going to wrap this up. Um, yeah, I love this figure. Uh, like I said, he's fairly, you know, if you, you can find him for a good deal on, on the secondhand market, grab him. Um, honestly, like I said, try not to pay no more than 50. I think, you know, like I said, what I paid for him, I think 50 bucks is reasonable. Um, so yeah, try not to pay no more than 50 bucks. Um, but like, you know, there are so many Hulk figures. If this one doesn't appeal to you, that's fine. Um, but like I said, I just really love the aesthetic of this Hulk. And, you know, I had to get him. Finally, finally got him. So, um, yeah, yeah, highly recommend this Hulk. Um, so yeah, that's it for this review. Uh, next review will be a Transformer review. <laughs> um, so yeah, look forward to that. But uh, yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Peace.